today I'm turning 25, but um, I still have to work and I still have to finish trimming all the bowls I made the day before yesterday, I think, and then cleaning up the studio in a little bit. And I also have a really special task today, which is I got flowers for my husband, so I need to find a place to put them. Now what I can find is this Coke bottle that I finished up yesterday. I might just like trim the top off, peel the label off so I can put some flowers in it. So I guess that's task number one. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. Now I guess it's time to start my day. Let's check on the bowls that we did the day before. So they're finally dried enough for me to trim. And all the other stuff here, they look pretty nice too. All the mugs, all the cups here look good. Today's task is to trim all of these and then I still need to post a TikTok, a reel, or whatever YouTube thing today. And uh, <laughs> that, uh, maybe I'll deal with it tomorrow because today's my birthday and only happy thoughts for birthdays. forgot to film a lot of things that just happened so let me tell you what just happened so first let me show you something I got from my friend this one is from my friend treasure yes that's her name a really cool name from China she sent this not just for my birthday but to congratulate me for having a new studio and to say that she can't come to my wedding and that's one of the presents I got and the other ones hello little guy so this little monster cake along with some other food items so monster cake a pizza I only had slides because I didn't have time to eat more yet and then this um, waffle big tiny waffles um, super squishy waffles Ooh, I guess I gotta eat that one later uh, yeah that, so these are for my friends Amy and Elizabeth in Vancouver and this one, I just don't even want to open it yet because I want to bring it to the restaurant with me tonight even though I already have a cake for myself. So I guess we're eating two cakes for today because it's my birthday, so why not? We have a bunch of goodies. So as you can see, we finished trimming all of the... Wait, that was the one that we trimmed yesterday. But anyways, I'm, we finished trimming all of those over there super dangerously put, but that's okay. So now they're just drying upside down and they'll be ready for underglaze tomorrow and the rest of the day i'm just going to probably do a little bit of cleaning up <laughs> and that's pretty much it because in about two hours we're going to have some thai food so i might just go home and change out of this beautiful clay outfit so i'll see you later tonight we're here for thai food our appetizer was super spicy <laughs> Action. <laughs> yeah. Getting ready, getting ready. This cake melted a little bit, unfortunately, but why? Because you know I didn't put it in the fridge. Oh really? Why? Because I didn't put it in the fridge. Well, happy birthday to you. Yeah, make a wish. Make a wish. Okay, now I want to take photos. Can you take photos of me? Okay, you already have a perfect husband by the way, so... Happy Wednesday, happy hump day, and uh, let's get to work! It smells like a dog in here. Maybe there was a dog here before. I've been using Caminato to go to work and come back home because we don't have a car yet, but this will do for now. It's better than Uber or walking 30 minutes back and forth every day. So... Messy. Let's get to work. When I was entering the building, I smell something burn. So I was a little bit terrified because I had my kiln on yesterday. So I was like, oh my gosh, I hope everything's okay. But it turns out it's not very, it's not a good news because it keeps on giving me error code. And it turns out I need to replace one of these relays over here, which means I can't really test the kiln until I replace them, which means I probably can use it properly before I go back to Toronto in a week. Unfortunately, that's what happens when you buy an old kiln. But on a positive side, let's look at the baby kiln.
way to get some ice cream. We're running because we want to burn a little bit more extra calories before we get ice cream. Is it still open? Is it still open? Is it? Is it? But the. I think it's. Oh. Oh. Why did they close so early? Okay, nice. Let's run there. Let's go. Uh, never, I think, because it's a gas station. We eat the ice cream and we walk at the same time. Therefore, zero. Zero. <laughs> It balances out. Yes, it does. Turns out they don't have ice cream. They don't have slushies. So we're going to another convenience store before it closes to get ice cream. It's open. It's open. Oh my god. <gasps> I like these. Why is that? I want, what a, I want a strawberry. Oh, yes, I want a strawberry. And this one behind over caramel. Awesome. This, this, this. What do you this get? Is, this is not a day we should have one no, before get? the wedding. What do you get? Sweet... Don't we cross? But, uh, no, 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 oh, no okay. What is this? Uh, vanilla? Salted, ca uh, salted caramel vanilla. I got a uh, strawberry cheesecake. Uh, 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 whatever calories it is. It tastes like happiness. I'm gonna eat it now. Okay, quick OOTD. Necklace from Boom, bodysuit from uh, Ritzia. It's a little bit see-through, that's why I have a black uh, sports bra underneath. Pants are from my favorite denim brand called Decade Studio based in Vancouver, and they actually fit people with curves. So tight on the waist and also comfortable around the thigh. What? Is that even possible? Okay, just let me show you the jeans. Ding! There we go. Now, let's get back to work. So first of all, <laughs> you got a whole chicken and some baguette, and this is my lunch because we got hungry on the way. And from the pottery store, we got. Ta da! So we got um, the relay that we need to replace, and then a bunch of this mother of pearl overglaze that I use for um, the holographic effect on the mug, and some element staples. They're pretty much like element pins to pin, oops, sorry if I get, to pin the elements back when they're bouncing out of the kiln, and that's pretty much it. And now, let's eat! Okay, so, so we're so we're here. Vincent's making these uh, little gifts for our wedding. These are wedding favor cups. So they're going to be like I don't know, tea cup, shot glass with our initial stamp at the bottom. So he's working on that. Time to replace this old relay with the new one. So cute. Time lapse. in the kiln. This are the one that we put in yesterday. It's still slightly warm to touch and look how vibrant the color looks already. It's looking so cool and I can't wait to get it glazed fire because it's going to look even more vibrant. So these are the pink one with uh, orange airbrush on top and I can't wait to show you what else is left here but today it goes empty this and then start glazing some of them. That's the glaze that we just mixed and yeah that's time to time to get glazing. able to make something this cute and this neat so thank you Vincent that's the end of today both kills are firing I need to get a vent actually for this big kiln and then start trying to install some sort of a fan system for the small kiln because it's not really good to breathe in all this uh, toxic gas coming out of the kiln and that's pretty much it going to go home now and see you tomorrow Happy Saturday! So today we couldn't find any comunado on the way to work so we're walking to work and I'm actually pretty concerned about one of my kiln because it shows that it's been stuck at cone 06 for like the whole night so I have to go and see what's wrong with it and push it up to cone 06 and hopefully all the pots I put inside are still good to go so we'll see, see you in the studio! Alright, so we're in the studio and um, we have good news and bad news. Bad news is, yes, 
the count is stuck at 1885 or something, but I need it to be up to like 2200 Fahrenheit degrees. So now we're trying to push it up. I'm not, no clue what's gonna happen with the pots inside, but we're just gonna cross our fingers and pray. But the good news is we can now unload the small kiln. So let me show you what's inside. First off, you get these like, I don't even know what to call them, like galaxy plates. This one is so dreamy. The color is amazing. Wow, look at this color. It's like a pink with yellow airbrush on top with a speck of green from I don't know where, but oh my goodness. This one is um, with three colors. It's pink, yellow, and some blue in it. It's pretty much the same vessel as the other one I just took out, but a different color scheme. And look at this color. Okay, I'm just going to keep screaming the whole day. Just look at this galaxy one. It's so dreamy the color is a lot more intense than what i thought it would be especially the yellow splash but it makes the mug look so cool it actually looks like a galaxy maybe next time i will actually paint these with some actual planets and make it like a proper galaxy collection what do you guys think let me know So we open up the kiln, it's obviously very under fire and we're trying to just refire everything in the small kiln. It's quite disappointing, but I guess this is a part of having a ceramic shop. We are starting the big kiln and the small kiln again at Fast Glaze, just mainly to test out if it's actually the problem of the schedule or the problem of the Fast Glaze because it did work yesterday or the day before when we tried it with the fast clay so i'm just wanted to testing out one more time pinning some of the elements back hoping that would change and let's pray and see what it's like tomorrow see you sunday so we just said goodbye to my friend who's leaving to the airport now she prepared us this really cute practical housewarming gift because we are running low on paper towel we don't have hands so we need breakfast and of course the first aid kit so Travel home safe. <clears throat> I just woke up. <clears throat> Travel home safe, Andrea. See you next time. So we're in the studio now. This is the baby camera I used to monitor it. It's a 1975. Uh, 75. So good thing it's that it's going up, but um, both of them are going up really slowly. I suspect that both of them needs another element or relay change, but it's getting up there. It's just really slow. And today we're gonna, I guess bisque fire all of this and also take photos with all the other ones there and um, yeah that's it okay so unfortunately the two kilns are still going I just wanted to push it a little bit harder so at least I can have something out of them that is functional and unfortunately these did not make it to the kiln today but uh, I managed to take photos of all the pots that are ready to be sold. There's not a lot of them, unfortunately, just because of the kiln shenanigans that happened. The small kiln has its own problem. Now it's stuck at a lower temperature, same as the high kiln. I mean, had a high kiln, but the big kiln, unfortunately. Um, we shall see. I'm um, just gonna keep them running for a little bit longer and fingers crossed they're gonna reach a uh, more desirable temperature. Happy Monday! We got a lot of things going on. We have a meeting in about 15 minutes, but now I just want to see what's inside these kilns, so let's take a look! Okay, let's see the small kiln. Okay, they actually look pretty good. Oh my god, they're still a little bit hot to touch, surprisingly, but hey, they actually look really good. One good news, and these inside, I know they're like, uh, whatever. So I will bring them to my friend Marina's place today to get them fired and maybe those tomorrow as well. I haven't decided yet, but that's one good news. Okay, so now let's get ready and pack up and get ready for that meeting. It's time to go home. We fill this whole shell with a mugs that we'll be launching tomorrow and the bowls. It's a pretty chill day. 
it's still bright outside. What a surprise. And tomorrow I'm going to bring these to my friend's place to get them refired. Re plus um, 50, 60 tiny, tiny, tiny mugs from the baby kiln. And that's pretty much it. See you guys tomorrow. See you what? Tuesday. See you Tuesday. Bye. Oh, and launch day is tomorrow. Okay, well, good luck with us. Okay, bye.